Hi, today we will see all the updates that we have released on the invoice canvas. These updates allow you to select various options like print, email more easily and you can also quickly set up your payment method while creating the invoice. The same applies to other transactions as well. Let's see what these options are. Click on new invoice. The first thing that you observe is the menu on the top has changed. The options that were on the right hand side, you can view them on top now. Let's quickly create an invoice. After selecting the contact, the next thing that you see is the custom fields now appear on the canvas itself. There are custom field settings. When you click on them, you can enable or disable the custom fields by simply checkboxing these radio buttons. You can change the order. Let's say I want to put project on top. Cost centers as the last. I'll click on save. You can see the order has reflected. You can also quickly add custom fields by clicking on add custom field. The setup payment button allows you to set up payments with payment services like Stripe and PayPal. As soon as you click on this, it redirects you to the PayPal page and you can quickly log in and connect your PayPal account. Coming back to books, let's save this invoice. While saving, you can observe we have options like save and close, save and send, save and create and save and payment. So save and send will automatically send this email to the concerned contact along with the attachment of the invoice. Save and create will simply open up a new invoice after this. Let's click on save and close. The invoice has been saved. Let's select the invoice. You can also see the various options that are showing up on the top menu now. Edit, copy, email, print. Under more settings, you see the other options. Let's click on print. The print section has also changed. You can now see both the MS Word related document templates that you created under settings and also the online invoice generator. Both of them are visible over here. You can select either of these formats and simply select print. Let's close this. Let's click on email. In the email tab as well, you can now select from either of the formats either the one that you created using MS Word or the ones that you created using our online document generator. In the drop down, you can see all the options. If you wish to edit the document that you had created online, simply click on edit. This will take you to the document generator. You can make the changes that you want. Let me make a few changes over here. Click on save. I'll save the template. I can give the template a name now. Let's call it default invoice. The template has been saved. I can close this. Let's click on email again. You can see the one that we just created is showing up over here. You can select this, send an email. The other options remain the same. You can add placeholders and other options. Let's close this for now. When you go to other tabs like create a new quote, new order or new bill, you will see a similar use case. Let's click on new order. You can see the various settings are the same as the one that we just saw in invoice. We have all the same settings. Let's go back to invoice. The manage button allows you to change the various headings. You can rename these from here and the same gets reflected on the canvas itself. Let's select this, click on save. 
you can see the heading has been changed. Do try these options and let us know your feedback. Thank you.